Hey everybody, this is Josh, KI6NAZ, and I'm doing a video series on the MVPs of Field Day. So number four on my list is kind of a combo. It's my power system that I use to run my ICOM 7300 during Field Day. I use this Renergy 100 watt solar panel, bought this off of Amazon, and the Dakota Lithium battery. This is a uh, 12, amp, 12 volt, 10 amp hour battery. Extremely lightweight, I'm very surprised by this. Uh, you can check these out at dakotalithiumbattery.com and again on amazon.com for the Renergy. Now a couple of points of interest for the Renergy. The Renergy actually came with a charge controller, a bunch of series of cables, all 10 gauge or, or lower gauge. I think actually some of these are 8 gauge wires. And uh, you know I had a connection for the charge controller, the panel connection, the connection from the battery to the controller, and then it had like an extra extension if you wanted to run the, the panel much longer. It also had the Z brackets if you wanted to put it on the roof of an RV or whatnot. Now, this is $133 at the time of recording this. And I don't know if that was actually on purpose or not or if that was a, a gross error on part of Amazon or whoever boxed this thing up. But $133 for a 30 amp charge controller, two sets of extension cables, and then a battery connection cable is incredibly good. So of note here, something important to say, this battery was almost fully charged when I started field day. And how I deployed the solar panel during field day was flat, which gives you sometimes estimated about 50% effectiveness of the solar panel. So you got about 50 watts output into the charge controller, into the battery. The battery is mostly charged. So I feel that this was kind of just keeping it level. It ran all day in sunlight when the sun was out without issue. Now, mind you, it was incredibly overcast on field day, so that drops the effectiveness of the panel even further. It's possible that there could have even been a slow drain on the battery, but I'll say it was just flat through most of the day. As the sun went down, I recorded all the way through the night or into the night, and I ended uh, recording about 11 p.m., which gives me about a five hour run time on this battery. No solar attached, just running off the solar charge controller, running as a load. Worked perfectly, no issues, no hiccups, I had uh, no stuttering in power, no loss, no voltage drop. My power output was always 100 watts. It was perfect for all sense of the word. Very impressed by the entire setup. Uh, this is just thrown on a piece of wood really haphazardly. And I do have one more thing I want to mention. So extra points needs to go to Anderson Power Poles. That's just a ham radio uh, MVP of all time to begin with. Power works, power distribution, eight block. And all I did was... I just made uh, Anderson jumpers for everything I needed. So this was the jumper that connected the battery um, to the charge controller, which then I connected a long lead with some spade connectors, some automobile spade connectors, Anderson power poles. Then the, ba the load line on the controller was connected to this breakout box, and then I just connected whatever I wanted to feed off of it, whether it was the 7300 or my 2730A. Just connected them in, bam, that's it. Um, I'm gonna put this panel on the roof in a coming weeks or hopefully weeks, not months. And I'm gonna use this. What I'm gonna do is just put this behind my radio and uh, I'll plug my radios into it and then however I'm feeding it. If I'm feeding it off of a power supply, I'll connect the power supply. If I'm feeding it off of the solar charge controller, then I'll connect the charge controller. Simple, very easy, very simple. Dakota Lithium has a coupon code right now if you use Hosh Nasi. I think you get 5% off. It's a good deal. Incredibly lightweight. In fact, let me go get the weight on this. Ounces. 46.75 ounces, which translates to 2 pounds and 14.7 ounces. What a great battery. Um, uh, really, I can't say enough about this. I've been using this in multiple instances in my ham shack where I need to just power something to test or if I was looking for RFID or ground loops, whatever. Just connect the battery to the radio, run it that way. Super helpful that way. So anyway, that's my MVP. The Renergy panel, the Dakota Lithium battery with the charge controller, and of course the PowerWorks power distribution 8 block, and then all the Anderson connectors. Always have... Go get one of those boxes, you know, those little departmentally mixed up little plastic boxes and just fill that thing with Anderson's so they always have them on hand and then go buy yourself a really nice crimping tool for Anderson's and I'm telling you 
there is multiple instances that have come up with me where I need power to something and I need just a bit longer cable or it'd be really nice if I had a proper Anderson's jumper and it's perfect. If you have them on hand, you get a multi different ga gauges of connectors. Really, really big recommendation there. Okay, guys, that'll do it. Hey, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell because I do live stream every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We now got merch. You may see it below, which is kind of cool if you're into that. Maybe that ham radio uh, crash course logo is looking good to you today. Uh, got the Patreon where I do the newsletter, $1 a month to get the newsletter. Go check that out at the beginning of every month that happens. And we've got the Discord chat, the Facebook group, and man, so many other things. But check those out, and I'll see you soon, okay? We'll see you next for the next uh, Field Day MVP video. See ya.